Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Kyle at TCS Rockets and today joining me is Tommy. We're going to go over a few Pokemon deck techs and then jump into action. Alright, so today I'm going to be playing Mew VMAX. We're going to go over our Pokemon, trainer setup, and then energy setup. So here we go. First up, our two one ofs are one of Oracorio. Uh, we only mostly play it for the ability. Every now and then the attack will come in handy. Its ability is all of our Fusion Strike Pokemon, who is everyone except for Pumpkaboo, take 20 less damage from attacks. It also has an attack itself where we can put five damage counters any way we choose on our opponent's Pokemon, which comes in handy every now and then for a little bit of bench sniping. We play a one of Pumpkaboo. We mostly play this to blow up opponent's Path to the Peaks and Temple of Sinnoh. Uh, we'll go into why those are bad for us a little bit later, but this is our uh, one of tech. Moving on, we play two Mayalettas. Mayaletta tends to be our best attacker in the deck. It only gives up one prize when knocked out and can sometimes hit for as big as 320. We have all four Fusion Strike Energies and a Belt. Then Genesec is our major draw engine. Its ability is for each Fusion Strike Pokemon in play, we get to draw up to that many cards. So usually we can draw up to six cards on an empty hand. Very powerful card. And then finally the namesake, we play uh, three Mew and three Mew V Max. This is basically our best attacker outside of Mayaletta. It can use any of these attacks as its special ability. The only downside is when knocked out, it does give up three prizes. So high risk, high reward. Moving on to our ball package, we play four Ultra Balls, four Quick Balls. Very similar cards. Uh, quick Ball is discard one card from our hand, then we can search for any basic Pokemon from our deck. Ultra Ball, very similar. We discard two cards and we can get any Pokemon we like. Power Tab's really fun card. It adds 30 damage to our Fusion Strike Pokemon's attacks, which we only attack with Fusion Strike Pokemon. And you can play as many as you want in a turn, so this can add sometimes up to 120 damage to your place. We play three Rotom Phones. Rotom Phones really good at helping us uh, set up our draws with Genesec. Let's just look at the top five cards of our deck, put one of them on top, and then we can then draw it with Genesec. Very powerful card, very good setup card. We play three Battle VIP Passes. This card is amazing if you go first, or if it's in your opening hand, but it is very bad in any other parts of the game. What it does is you can play it on your very first turn of the game, and then go get two basic Pokemon and put them directly onto your bench. So very fast acceleration card. We also play three Cramomatics. Cramomatic is a little bit of a luck-based card. You have to flip, you have to discard a card and flip a coin. If you get heads, you then get to go through your uh, deck and grab any card you like. So again, high risk, high reward. We play two Choice Band, or Choice Belt rather. It functions very similar to Power Tablet. It adds 30 damage to whichever Pokemon it is attached to. Now moving on to our Switch package. We play two Switches and one Escape Ropes. Switches usually play to get our Genesect out of the active if our opponent gusts it up, or to switch out our Muse after it's used its uh, Techno Blast from this Genesect. Unfortunately, the downside of Techno Blast is the Pokemon can't attack during the next turn. But we mitigate that with Switches and Escape Ropes. Escape Rope has the added benefit of forcing our opponent to also switch out their active, which is very relevant for messing up their turns or sometimes getting very early turn one knockouts for Pokemon that they were trying to hide on the bench. We also have uh, another tech card here being Echoing Horn. What this lets us do is generally take a V from our opponent's discard, put it back into play, then we can gust it up ourselves, knock it out, and get an easy two prizes, sometimes for the win. Or against some other decks that uh, need particular Pokemon in play, you can mess up their strategy by putting a Pokemon they didn't want on their bench back into play. We play a one of Pokecatcher. Uh, this card requires us to flip a coin. If we get heads, we can uh, choose any Pokemon on our opponent's bench and move it up into the active. So another kind of risk reward card. Moving on to our supporter setup. We play three Elisa Sparkles. This is a very good acceleration card. It lets us choose two of our Fusion Strike Pokemon in play search our deck for two fusion strike energies and attach them directly to the pokemon and it doesn't count for our attach for turn so this is usually our outlet for letting us do a turn one attack with mayaletta then finally we have three bosses orders this is the card we uh mean when we say gust stuff up it allows us to take one of our opponent's bench pokemon and move it to the active allowing us to get uh opportunistic knockouts or mess up our opponent's strategies a little bit we're then playing one marnie Marnie's a really fun card. It makes both you and your opponent shuffle your hand and put it on the bottom of your uh, deck. Then your opponent gets four cards and you get five cards. This is really good if your hand is a little dead and you need a good restart, or if you know your opponent has cards in their hand that you don't want them to play. It lets you hide it on the bottom of their deck. Very powerful card. Our last uh, trainer uh, supporter of the deck is uh, one of Silene. 
Silene is another flip a coin card. She lets you flip two coins though. And for each heads, you get to take a card from your discard pile and put it back on top of your deck. The power here is that generally we can take any card that we need to close out the game and redraw it with Genesect. So this is a very good late game card. Moving on to our stadium setup. We play two Roses Towers, which almost act like two more Genesects. What this card lets you do is draw up to three cards, meaning if you have no cards in hand, it's a draw three. Very powerful. And it also helps us destroy opposing Path of the Peaks and Temple of Senos. We're also playing one Old Cemetery. This is mostly played just as an option to destroy Path of the Peaks and Temple of Senos, but its ability does come in handy sometimes. Whenever a non-psychic energy has a uh, or whenever a non-psychic Pokemon has an energy attached to it from their opponent's hand, it puts damage counters onto them. It does affect us as well, so we just have to watch out for Oracorio, but it very much doesn't really hurt us. Generally, Genesect will be getting energies off of Sparkle. Then last but not least, our energy setup. We're playing uh, four Fusion Strike energies to synergize with Sparkle and to synergize with Mayaletta. And then we're playing three Double Turbo energies to allow our Muse to attack as soon as possible. But yeah, that's essentially the deck.